I'm Sarah with the Beloit Public Library. Thank you for joining me again for one of our little library shorts videos. Um, today we're going to be talking about the solar system and sound waves. Um, so just to get started, I have a little song for you. It's called Solar System in Motion and it's sung to the tune of The Farmer in the Dell and it goes like this. The Earth turns around, the Earth turns around, once a day, every day, the Earth turns around. The moon goes round the Earth, the moon goes round the Earth, once a month, every month, the moon goes round the Earth. The Earth goes round the sun. when we hear sound, whether it's music or just speaking or singing or any sounds in our environment, um, what's happening is actually we're hearing sound waves. So sound waves are like waves in an ocean, um, but they're moving through the air, and um, that is what we're hearing are those vibrations or sound waves through the air. So you can see this on like a ukulele string or any other stringed instrument, when we pluck the string, the string vibrates, and that vibration is making the sound wave that we hear. And the faster a string vibrates, the higher the sound. So that means that what happens if I tighten the string? The pitch goes up. So that's the, the faster it's vibrating, the higher the sound. So if I loosen the string, the sound goes down, the pitch goes down because it's vibrating slower, so it's a lower note. So that's why um, you see musicians tuning their instruments to make sure they're the exact right um, pitch or the length of the string is exactly right to make that right vibration um, to be in tune. So you can try this at home. Um, kind of using a rubber band if you don't have a stringed instrument or you don't want to mess with the tuning of your stringed instrument. You could um, use a rubber band or you could, um, like if you have a doorknob, you could put it on there and pull it down and pluck the rubber band and just kind of experiment with it. Um, listen and see what happens when you tighten the rubber band. You're going to hear a higher note. When you loosen the rubber band, you're going to hear a lower note. And um, you can also look at it and see that when it's tighter, it's going to vibrate more quickly. And when it's looser, it's going to vibrate slower. So you can kind of experiment with that at home and see what I'm talking about. Um, another thing we can do at home is you can make a sound cone. And that's what this is. So what a sound cone does is it harnesses all those sound waves from the air and it funnels it down to a point and that amplifies it. So this is just a simple piece of tag board. Um, it doesn't have to be this big, but the bigger it is, the more it'll amplify your sound. Um, you can decorate it if you want. And um, just make sure there's enough of a hole here so that you can listen through it. And yeah, try this out. Um, even in a quiet room, you'll hear a huge difference in the sound um, just that your house is making, the little hums and buzzes and or you could do an experiment where somebody goes across the room and whispers, and um, then they could whisper again when you have your sound cone up to your ear, and you can hear the difference, or maybe go outside and see what you can hear. But that's a really fun way to experiment. And it's the same concept as um, what NASA does with things like these giant um, and dish antennas and if you can see on the picture here, for scale, these are buildings. So that's how big this giant dish antenna is. And what it's doing is harnessing sound waves and, um, and other noises from space so that the NASA scientists can study those sounds. So it's really interesting. And there is a great website. This is the handout I've included with your packet. 
It tells you, um, it has the instructions for how to make a sound cone and some ideas of what to do with that. And there's a great website called spaceplace.nasa.gov and that has a ton of more experiments about sound waves and vibrations as well as other fun um, space related experiments and activities and I would highly recommend that website. Um, now I'd like to share a book with you called Space Song Rocket Ride. Here we go. First thing we're going to do is blast off. So if you want to pretend you are getting in your spacecraft, we're going to count down from 10 to 1, and then we're going to blast off. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, blast off! All right, here we go. In the universe spins a galaxy. It's a spiral of stars called the Milky Way. And the bright stars shine all around, all around, and the bright stars shine all around. In among the stars of that galaxy is our solar system where a planet spin. The planets that spin in the solar system in the galaxy, where the bright stars shine all around, all around, where the bright stars shine all around. In the middle of the planets shines a burning sun. The sun's our own star, a bright blazing ball. The sun in the middle of the planets that spin in the solar system in the galaxy, where the bright stars shine all around, all around, where the bright stars shine all around. And around that sun orbits our blue earth, blue from the water that gives us life. The earth around the sun and the sun in the middle of the planets that spin in the solar system in the galaxy. Where the bright stars shine all around, all around, where the bright stars shine all around. And around that earth orbits a moon, turning every month, tugging at the tides. The moon around the earth and the earth around the sun and the sun in the middle of the planets that spin in the solar system and the galaxy. Where the bright stars shine all around, all around, where the bright stars shine all around. Down on the earth, we watch the sky, the twinkling stars wink down at us. The stars in our eyes and the moon around the earth and the earth around the sun and the sun in the middle of the planets that spin in the solar system and the galaxy, where the bright stars shine all around, all around, where the bright stars shine all around. The end. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for watching today. Um, here at the Beloit Public Library, we are going to have some solar system themed story times the week of February 15th. So check that out. We're going to have those on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays at 11 o'clock that week. Um, just make sure you register in advance on our website. And um, you should check out, um, keep your ears out for um, other events, other solar system themed events in the community this month um, at some other local libraries and organizations. And uh, make sure to watch the other library video shorts this month. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you at the library again soon.